put this bun in just so I can take a shower. But you know what? We're gonna leave it up. It's looking kind of flawed because I'm not type of glue. Okay, I got my mug right. Moisturize without being greasy. That's the perfect balance. We have to do our thing. We have to do our thing. We gotta do our thing. We gotta do our thing. We gotta, gotta, gotta do our thing. The time of year is upon us. It's winter time. Y'all know why. Top 10 designers for winter. Let's. You ready? Because we about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day. and welcome back uncommon sense family clan uncommon sense here for those that are new to the channel take a look around at the content come to the realization and decision that this is the place for you to be and then i want you to do all three you want to like comment and subscribe so we're going to start the winter designer men's list off with cuba gold cuba gold is a known dupe of jean paul gaultier's lamar at the price point and the scent of this one, I actually prefer Cuba Gold a little bit more. It's going for about $14 in a 3.3. The way that it does, lavender, amber combination, can't go wrong with this one. Wow. What I will mention is Cuba Gold. Coming in at number 10, Bulletproof 45 by Margo Lane. This one, it's got four notes. Smoked tea, coconut milk, crushed cedar, ebony wood. It's like a creamy chai tea. Yeah. Perfect for this type of weather. It's like snuggling up by the fireplace with a throw and a good book and maybe a special someone. Yeah. It's one of those fragrances that's a little harder to find. I got it at one of the rack stores. Paid maybe about 20 bucks for it. This is a 1.6 ounce. I'm seeing them go for about $45 on Tokyo Milk Dark website. Give it a shot, check it out. I feel like it's one of those close encounter fragrances. Bedtime, in a way. In the Midwest, you know it started to get dark at about four o'clock, so it's bedtime anytime after 3.30, to be completely honest. And this is a excellent fragrance that I'll be reaching a lot for during this winter time. Okay, okay. Nine spot, Diesel Zero Plus Mask. Oh man, this one's made a few lists as well. You got Rose. Cinnamon. Mm. It's something a little creamy and milky about this one as well. I really feel like the perfect time to wear this is in the winter time. It's more of a close encounter fragrance, but it does have a lot of longevity. It smells very sexy and alluring. Off top, you don't really get a chance to smell a whole lot of it, but those that are around you will enjoy it. So I would definitely say this is a fragrance that's to be worn with a special someone in a close encounter type of situation. Yeah. In our number eight spot, we have Zadig and Voltaire, Just Rock. Spray it on my damn sound. It's very warm, amber, vanilla, spices. Oh my God, it's so freaking sexy. I feel like it's perfect for winter. The amber, vanilla, a lot of folks are liking this with the spice bomb. I don't smell Spice Bomb when I smell this one, partially because I don't like the way Spice Bomb smells on me. It smells Denied. amazing on other individuals. Just Rock by Zadig and Voltaire. I love the way this one smells on me. It has a more chocolate-like type of feel. Fluffy, creamy, and milky. Ugh, not that expensive, but I think it's going for about 35, 40 bucks. So great gift idea as well. Coming up to our number seven spot, we have Lalique's Ancre Noir. You guys are probably thinking. Okay, wait a minute, that's more fun. On the contrary, I feel like Lalique, Ancre Noir, Alexstrom is more fall, while this one's a little bit more winter. This reminds me of Close Encounters and Log Cabin. You got woods, cypress, vetiver. It has a freshness, even though it's kind of dark and damp, very masculine fragrance that I really feel like is very well done. Got to clean the palette. Got to clean the palette. 
Coming up to our number six spot. Yo, oh. This one's made several lists for me. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but it's a, it has a special place in my heart. It's actually the one that started my fragrance journey. It's coming out in 1989, I was a wee tot. I was knee high to a grasshopper at the time. However, it's one that once I got a hit of it, couldn't let it go. You get cinnamon, sandalwood, some spices, the sweetness. This one projects very nicely off of my skin. This is a fragrance that'll probably be in my collection from here on out. Coming up to our number five spot. We have Bentley for Man Intense. Leather, booze, distinction, class, wealth. Something a little chocolatey about it must be the patchouli. That kind of tones up in there. I'm kind of perturbed that I waited so long on it. Learn my lesson to not disregard the hype all the time. Check into it for yourself to make sure that it's something that you either need or don't. It can do no wrong in my opinion. And I feel like it's perfect for this time frame. Leather jacket or peacoat, cow neck sweater. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fly, fresh, sexy, dapper, distinguished, and a gentleman. I'm being rude. I should have asked you if you guys want to get a snack. Have, have some. Cleanse your palate too. I know. We're going on this journey together. Cleanse your palate. There we go. Now we're ready. You ready to get into the top four? Let's do it. Coming up to the number four spot. We got an old school powerhouse in the building, y'all. Boucheron. Jiper. EDP. Now, I had the EDT a while ago. The EDT was a bit more mature to my nose and a bit more screechy in my opinion. However, the creaminess and the cinnamon and the spices of the EDP version is a lot more smooth and sexy. And that's where I'm at in my fragrance journey. I'm starting to really dig the fragrances that are smooth, kind of Mac Daddy-ish and sexy. Jiper, on um, EDP by Boucheron, fits the bill. Don't sleep on the old school powerhouse. This one cost me maybe about $30 for a 3.3. And when I tell you, if you have not smelled the EDP compared to the EDT, there was a legitimate difference. This one's a lot more polished. It's creamy, sandalwood, cinnamon. It's perfect for winter. A fragrance like this will cut through the cold like a sharp razor blade. Next up. Number three is gonna go to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. Now, Ultra Mall is one of those fragrances that I can wear multiple times of the season. However, I feel like in winter is where this one will really shine. It's very sweet, vanilla, almost bubblegummy. It smells so damn sexy. Yes! Ugh. I heard that this one's actually getting ready to be more limited, if not discontinued. It's so sweet, but yet, Allure, it captures the attention of anybody that has a nose. One of the bigger compliment getters on my skin. Next up, the number two spot belongs to Versace Arrows. Uncharacteristic for me to have two of the sweeter frags back to back. However, mint is one of my favorite notes. So mint, apple, tonka. Yes! This is a complete staple for me for winter. This one here reminds me of wintertime because I got it as a Christmas gift. This is perfect for winter to me. It's gonna cut through the cold as well. It performs. This is the older formulation. It performs. Performance. That's definitely what I get out of this one. It projects. It lasts. It smells amazing. Like, for real though, what more could you ask for? What? You guys have made it. You hung in there with me all the way to my number one spot. Palette is cleansed. We start back at zero. Or better yet, we start at one. <laughs> Coming in at our number one spot. Bulgari Man in Black Essence. This has to be one of my favorite designer fragrances in my collection. Rum, along with Oriental notes, some spices. Sexy and what a man in black will smell like. Or a black man. Bruh. Or a man that's bruh. And this is an EDP. 
this one performs. This is probably one of the best performing fragrances of my collection. Not only is it a good performer, it smells amazing. It projects, it lasts, and I feel like it goes perfect for a nice knee length pea coat, leather jacket. You can dress it up, dress it down. I've worn it in both situations and it's been amazing either way. You can't get into this bottle. Bruh. This bottle and presentation is by far one of the best in my collection. That's actually gonna do it for our top 10 men designers list for winter. Drop me some comments below. Let me know what is your top 10 for winter? What will you be rocking? What will you be reaching for? And what will you be smelling like? Tell me if you like this list. Also, too, tell me some suggestions that you think I should be rocking for winter. It has been your man Uncommon Sense. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart to top to size and all the way around. And I'm out. Till next time.